So we're here with guys from Napoleon. You played the headline slot on the first night of TechFest. Yeah. How did that show go down for you? It was really, really good. Yeah, I'm really surprised how many people were there on the Thursday. Yeah. We kept saying like all day like how good it was and we were just surprised about how many people were there and Yeah, it was just generally good vibes, isn't it? Really good atmosphere and yeah, good fun, good sound. Yeah, the sound was really good, the crowd was really good. Last for a better show to be honest. I've really enjoyed myself. It's like the best show I've played in a long time where I've come off stage and felt like really content about it, you know. So I had a really good time. Yeah, we all did, yeah. It's awesome. So you've just released your debut album, Newborn Mind. What yeah. kind of response have you been getting from it? It's been going really good actually, isn't it? Yeah, really, really good. Um just wanna keep the momentum up and just keep keep playing yeah. yeah, just keep going, play as many shows as you can and just yeah, because those songs are almost getting old for us now because we've had a few problems okay. like, in the recording process so we're a bit worried whether people would like them or not but yeah, the response has been good and we just want to move on now and like, get cracking with it get cracking with it and start doing the second album um, I mean, not generally the response has been really good um, yeah, we're, we're just really happy, just really stoked on it so it's been really good yeah. So there's no time for breaks then, you've just released this and you're going straight into recording for the next album? Or? That's the initial plan and idea, like we want to just keep the, the ball rolling really and just not really waste any time and yeah we just kind of started touring for the album like, at the beginning of May, we're going to be touring up to the end of August, like September kind of time and then spend the end of the year like recording, writing and getting out for early next year. So that's yeah. the plan. Well that's the plan, yeah, definitely. <laughs> You look to have quite a heavy tour schedule, it's something like 30 European shows. I think we're playing something like 60 something shows this summer, aren't we? Or something like that. Yeah, we had 60 shows between May and August, and then we've got a few like dotted around in September and October. But yeah, mainly UK and Europe, which has been really cool. It's not enough though, I wish we were playing more, to be honest. Um, so, I yeah. did, did notice on your tour schedule that you've got one one off date in Mexico. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I wish that, that was true. That happens because there's uh, other artists called Napoleon like, around and when they upload it onto the bands on tour, whatever it is on Facebook, the little like, bar that you can click okay. on, it comes up on our page, like we can sometimes get it in New York and like, Mexico, oh, okay. but we're not, we wish we were getting I it. I wish I was playing Mexico, fuck it, it, it yeah. seemed a bit odd, just yeah. going from England yeah. to Mexico, right? <laughs> I so, wish. Um, Maybe we'll just throw my research out the window. We are doing some really <laughs> cool stuff that we can't talk about just yet, but um, in October, is it October? Yeah. That's like really amazing and we're really excited to be doing that, but obviously we can't say anything about okay. it yet, but yeah, just, yeah hopefully it's, it's, getting it's out really out. awesome if everyone wins. Just to play in different places would be really good, so yeah. Uh, yeah. So you guys obviously, you played yesterday, you're going to be sticking around the festival for, for the whole thing? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm well, yeah. I think we'll probably stick around for the whole thing. Um, it's one yeah. of the only festivals that we're playing, so yeah, we want to get some experience here. There's loads of great bands there, like, especially today. It's our first time here, and it's just really nice to kind of see. I don't know the community. I guess yeah. it's it's not necessarily. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm at a festival. It almost feels like it's just a community of like really like makes really chilled yeah. people yeah yeah just lots of friends everywhere and stuff and for a first time for us playing like it's no it's just really good like a lot of positive vibes and everyone's really just happy to be here and yeah you know it's just really chilled and yeah and cool. obviously with it being a smaller festival uh kind of targeting quite a niche genre instead of something like down Road where you've got the whole rock and do you think yeah. it, it gives bands like yourselves more of an opportunity just getting a headline set? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Like, we've always found it quite difficult like touring with other bands because we're so, sort of in the middle of like hardcore metal. Yeah. So if we tour with like a really metal band, some of the like people in the crowd like aren't too into it if it's hardcore, it's the same. Yeah. So like playing to people that are into techie kind of music, I think, yeah, it's just a really good crowd response and good group of people to play to definitely. So it's, uh, it's just interesting because normally when we tour and we play shows I find personally that when we play the more techie songs like people aren't really like they're into it but they're kind of almost a bit too scared to kind of uh, be enthused I don't know a bit more enthusiastic about it but last night when we played it was kind of like you could see a difference because you know we fit perfectly into the festival you know and people 
people really liked it, so you know, yeah. felt like we were at home a little bit. I, I felt anyway, but, but yeah, that's how I felt. So, is, is there anyone else at the festival that you're particularly excited to see? Honestly, I'm so so excited to see Pliny, um, Intervals, and Animals, the, uh, animals as leaders. Uh, yeah, and protest in the room. Uh, protest tomorrow, yeah. But Pliny for me, like, you know, that guy is incredible, and I can't wait to see him later on. I'm so 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 for it. Yeah, awesome. I think today is like. They've been most yeah, excited for Definitely, yeah. So, who would you cite as your biggest influences then? Because you say fans like uh, Queenie are, are out here. Uh, it's not necessarily that similar to your own style. No, I mean, like, we've all got like, completely different. Like, for me, it was when I started playing guitar, I was massively into like Trivium. They are my favourite band. They played guitar for some fans, like, the reason that I was like playing. But for a drummer, he was more into like pop punk and like yellow card. I don't really know what you're. I mean, the first bands I ever got into were like Saints Never Surrender and like It Prevails and Guns Up and I don't know, just general, general like melodic hardcore, I guess. Really, really early melodic hardcore kind of properly got me into the music scene in this, in this style. But um, contemporary, I'm not really sure to be honest. Like, yeah. yeah, we do try like to make songs a bit different. To make, yeah, they try to sound like a band, so you know, it's kind of nice to so that they don't sound like all the bands that we like. But I'd like to think we do our own thing. So yeah, yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> loads of bands. <laughs> yeah, just love yeah good music. So if you're coming from kind of different genre backgrounds, uh, you're playing. Uh, does that work out in your favour, do you think? Because you can often find that there's a bit of conflict if you all want to play different things, you know, musical differences. Yeah, we haven't really had any, like, conflict. Yeah, just did. I think everyone's just... Not like, yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think, like... You're always going to get compared to someone and at some point, you know. But, I mean, yeah, within the band, like, we've all just liked the same, same music. Even though we've had, like, different sort of favourites, we've all, like, had a common thing that we've all enjoyed, and yeah, like, everyone's been down so far. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, it'll say the same. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the question that we've got for everyone today is, you could go on tour with any band, any era, and then who would you choose? And why? In the world. I mean, for me, like, we're talking, like, any genre, yeah. Any artist? Yeah. It was really funny because like, we did an interview yesterday and the guy was like, oh yeah, name three bands that we want to tour with. And it was like the 1975 era and like, I don't know, I think it was like uh, some ambient band or something weird. I don't really know. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to go with era or issues, I guess, because I love both their albums at the moment. Yeah. yeah. What about you? I reckon for me it'd still be Trivium. Trivium. Just because they were like my all-time favourite band, I'd never like been into a band as much as them, so it'd just be like, yeah. That's just Stay what I'm listening it. to right now, and yeah. I love his album, so yeah, I'd be into doing that definitely. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Well, it was a great show yesterday. Um, just enjoy the rest of the festival, and yeah, thank you very much. good luck thanks on your so tour, much, man. Yeah. Cheers. Thank, thank you. Cheers. Man. Cheers.